Ajay Bose, senior journalist Kancha Ilaya, well-known Dalit yeah. activist Asif Khan of the Bharatiya Janata Party, Gaurav Bhatia of the Samajwadi Party, Abid Rasul Khan of the Congress Party. Kancha Ilaya, was Modi right? Modi says that we honoured, we honoured uh, Baba Sahib Ambedkar. We, when we, we, government supported by us, gave him the Bharat Ratna. Is he right on that? Can he take the credit there? No, absolutely, absolutely wrong. Wrong? I think of all the parties, BJP has no right to claim any legacy of Ambedkar. Even that Bharat Ratna, which Narendra Modi is talking about, was given by VP Singh. Government supported and by BJP. When uh, VP Singh, right? But when when VP Singh began to implement Mandal as part of Baba Sahib Ambedkar's agenda, BJP began Mandir issue, and Narendra Modi organized at the ground level, Advani and Pramod Mahajan pull down the government and they pull down the mandir also. Secondly, what right that BJP has got to talk about Narendra Mo uh, Ambedkar, I don't know whether Narendra Modi knows Ambedkar's history. Ambedkar gave up Hindu religion saying that so long as Hindu religion exists, caste cannot be abolished, therefore this has to be completely changed Hindu religion should go out of India, then India should become a Buddhist nation. Does Narendra Modi know this? So what right he has got to talk about Ambedkar? I just don't understand. Asifa, is the BJP raking it up only for the Dalit vote? 148 constituencies. The are not they can't vote for life. Okay, 148 constituencies See. across six states. Dalit electorate over 20%. 153 constituencies. I think it's. Dalit population 15 to 20%. So, a political motive. Kancha Elaya alleges political motive in using Ambedkar's name. Avoidable, isn't it? I mean, you. I know it's a tough election, but to make false claims is not correct, Asifa. Counter him factually if you can. I, I, I think. I think it's the other way round because now the uh, Dalit vote bank of UP and uh, uh, Mayawati ji, you know, she thinks that she'll be losing ground to Mr. Modi because of the Modi wave and the popularity of Mr. Modi growing day by day. So this is the utter desperation where they are trying to say that they, they are the um, uh, possessors of Ambedkar ji and nobody else can talk about uh, Baba Sahib and Ambedkar. I think this is a vote bank politics. Why is she not talking about general? Why is she not talking about all uh, all of us as Indians? She saying, and why is she, uh, she no, focusing he's, on he's saying, uh, Ambedkar? He's, he's no, Ambedkar he's he's he out just, his name. just understand Ambedkar. Read Ambedkar. Ambedkar gave away Hinduism. This party is a Hindu party. What are you talking? Please read which, which, at least five which, pages which, of Ambedkar and talk. He gave up Hinduism. He said so long as Hinduism is there, no you, Dalit can be safe in this country. No Dalit can be safe in this country.
do not try to claim that you really follow Ambedkar. Yeah, I mean, because what, they don't this, even this understand following Ambedkar. of Ambedkar. No, no, this, are absolutely this, right. This, they obviously haven't read even Ambedkar. This following of Ambedkar. Now you have to ask no, yourself: no, 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 Are we with me, Shama Prasad Mukherjee or are we with Ambedkar? Because you know, argue historically, and I now get in Abid Rasul to the debate. By the way, it's open, Gaurav. I am saying, just like the BJP conveniently skips yeah. Sardar Patel's views on the RSS, let me remind the BJP spokesperson that Ambedkar was one of the most staunch supporters. Of, you know, what you know of the of the Hindu Code Bill. Which met severe opposition from Shama Prasad Mukherjee. Shama Prasad Mukherjee was the founder of the Bharatiya Jana Sangh. He said the Hindu Code Bill will, and I quote, shatter the magnificent structure of Hindu culture. So please understand the basic contradiction. Either you are with Shama Prasad Mukherjee's view, or you are with Ambedkar's view. You can't have one foot in both because it's election season. And if you make those claims, now do we, do if you no no if you make those claims, you'll be factually questioned. You'll be factually questioned. Anam, do we want to live in the past, ah, or we want to ah, come to the 2014 elections? And what Mr. Modi Arnab, has to say? Can I just no, 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 no. No, no. You, you, now you are going into when I bring historical facts, which Arnab, are correct. Why are you going back? No, no, back no, 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 no. I'm coming. I'm coming. No, no. She's to saying. She's saying. No, Ajay Bose, don't go to the past. Arnab. She's saying the, the past is irrelevant. Arnab. 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 Okay, Gaurav Bhatia. No, what? Gaurav Bhatia. Abhi Darshan both want to come in. Gaurav Bhatia first. Yeah. The, the BJP Arnab, representative please. in response to the question on the inherent contradictions between Golkarwar, Golwalkar, and Shah Prasad Mukherjee's views on one hand, and Ambedkar on the other, now says, don't live in the past. But well then, Ambedkar is a historical figure from our past, and therefore, when you refer to Ambedkar, you bring in the past. Exactly. When when I bring in historical context, I compare yes. facts uh, which you are claiming Arnab. against what you are claiming. Yes, got a bat here. Yes, yes, and Mr. Modi has exactly the said on what you are like saying. People like Mr. Jawaharlal Nehru, Mr. B. R. Ambedkar, right. Mr. Rajendra Not Prasad, the Sardar Patel. Who were members of the Constituent Assembly that framed the Constitution do not belong to any party. They belong to every Indian and they have contributed immensely. But the facade of Mr. Modi you know that. is so very evident that today, on a pious day like birth uh, anniversary of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, rather than talking about the positive contributions of the man. He could still only think of Shahzade. He could think of elections. He could still think of only garnering votes on Mr. Ambedkar's name. And I'll this tell is you the why. unfortunate I'll part. Tell you oh, why. Uh, he started with a sta statue no, I'll, I'll of unity. Tell you. I'll tell him and why. When statue of unity did not fetch him enough votes, that statue of unity of Sardar Patel was abandoned midway. Now he's talking about Mr. B. R. Ambedkar. If so what do you mean abandoned midway? Dr. Ambedkar. What do you mean abandoned midway? Why not talk about the do valuable not, contributions like not, he, Asifa, he drafted it's the no, fundamental it's not rights abandoned. chapter three of the it's Constitution? It's not abandoned, but let me tell him. Has it been it abandoned? Is, and let me let just make my point, Asifaji. Don't Mr. interrupt Modi in between. Mr. Modi has brought in the issue. Let me make my point. Very correctly. No, I'm not interrupting. Asfaji, I'm not interrupting. If, if, I need to give an answer. You will get your turn. Totally, you will totally get your turn. Wrong side. Don't be so impatient. On on his birth anniversary, why not talk about his ideals? Why not talk about his contributions? His main framework in the constitution. That, he drafted the fundamental right chapter. He was the chairperson. Why not talk about that? That is why exactly what Mr. Modi is trying to say. When Rahul Gandhi says, we give you right to education, we give you right to food. Arre, that that is is already there in the constitution. Please, it has been given Sardar to us Patel, by, uh, the, by the fathers Dr. of the constitution. Sardar Patel, Dr. Ambedkar, Jawaharlal Nehru, Mahatma Gandhi. These. These uh, persons they are belong us to the constitutional right. They belong no, to the constitutional right. Asifa, why, Asifa, why does Mr. Modi Asifa, only no, remember please don't the misrepresent facts? No, no, one second. Right to information was <laughs> not was not one minute. Was, like that. No, no, right to information was not codified you, you by Ambedkar. No, land uh, not the point that is completely made. That all second. these rights were available earlier. Anup, tell me. No, what? That second. is actually not no, no, correct. You, 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 the uh, most Anup, important part is okay, there is an umbrella second. called the Rahul Constitution. Rahul Gandhi is going and around the country. Rahul Gandhi is going around the country saying, "I gave you right to education. I gave you right to." Uh, uh, RTI, I gave you right to Narega. 
Why did he give the right no, to the prime no minister of this country to rule no the country for ten years? Why did right he not give person? the right? To take decisions to the prime minister of this country, and now Rahul Gandhi wants to go around the country saying, "I give you this right." You have dragged, you have dragged Ambedkar. One minute, one minute. Now both, one second. You both of you, no, 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 no. One minute, one minute, one minute. Please, and I put it squarely. Let us admit today. Of course, it's political. Of course, political parties, you know, dig up Ambedkar and fight over him before an election. You think people are foolish? You think the people of India are foolish? That you suddenly remember, and Kanchaila is right. Ambedkar is a is a is today being used as a political mascot, Ajay Bose. Yeah, of course, at least make the admission. Absolutely. At least be honest. He's being he's being used. He, yeah, and he's been used like a political football. And I think that that is the greatest insult to Ambedkar. Ambe they have no right. Neither the Congress nor the BJP certainly have any right to say that they represent Ambedkar's views. Because we know how the Congress treated Ambedkar, you know, if we forget the last years of Ambedkar's life, as far as the Jan Sang and the Sang Parivar are concerned, Ambedkar had absolute contempt for them, and he was constantly fighting with them. So why, you see, I have no problem with the BJP giving a new vision of Dalits and anything. I have no problems. That is their point of view. But why are they pretending ah, that they represent yeah, yeah. Ambedkar's legacy Absolutely. when they clearly do not? Abs and, and, and please, and, and, and let's be very direct today. Abhid Rasul, one minute. The sidelining of Ambedkar is in keeping with the sidelining of non-Gandhi Congress leaders like Sardar Patel. You can argue as much as you want. I will still say it. Non-Gandhi Congress leaders like Sardar Patel were also sidelined. We know how much money was spent for b celebrating birth anniversaries of, you know, uh, Rajiv Gandhi, Indira Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, and we know how much money was spent for publicizing, uh, you know, uh, uh, commemorating Sardar Patel's birth anniversary. Let's not go there. There is a fact to it. You have no right. Rajiv Gandhi, BJP says, and by the way, Asifa, you go and make this claim. A BJP back government gave the Bharat Ratna. Did the BJP, will the BJP tell the people that we will now it use... This is a joke actually. No, even giving the Bharat... No, no, one second. Even uh, uh, giving the Bharat Ratna is... No, no, one second, please. Did you say when you were giving the Bharat Ratna or when you supported a government that gave the Bharat Ratna that 25 years from now we are going to use this political? How sorry Anna, a situation... Because the fact that the Congress but government using didn't, it didn't give him the Bharat Ratna no, but even for so long. The nation and it gave was him given the during, Ratna. Don't make during it the regime the where the uh, B no, Bharatiya no, no. Janta Party was there. No, no. The that nation is a fact the which Ratna. you and me cannot deny because the history is, is there for the people of this country. To see this is now that the Congress surely did not give him any award, any any credit. The nation gave him the Bharat Ratna. Don't do this. Family members were given Bharat Ratna. Definitely. No, I, I feel now, and a remark on this. No, I, I so feel, I think Modi ji was I, absolutely I right comment. when he made this. The second important point I would like to bring is you need to give a chance to Abhid Rasool please. Abhid Rasool, Abhid Rasool, if she allows, if she allows, just doesn't keep quiet for a minute or so. Asifa, one minute, Abhid Rasool. Why can't we talk about that? 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 Why can't we talk you need to put a mic down. Like okay, Abid Rasool is it. You are just trying, you are just trying to cover up everything by shouting. Also take away profit now, I would like to say you know this very clearly that when Ambedkar please, legacy is please, connected please and don't come to religious it, ground. He never, he I never bet thought, you cannot talk on that. No, so he ra thought, rather keep off oh that God. debate. You have to keep quiet, Asifa. You need to let others speak. Okay, you Asifa, please let him speak. I'm not, to I'm, not, I'm not telling you, Mr. Rasul, I'm not telling no, you. No, you have no ground to shout. You just keep quiet. Yeah, you are shouting continuously. You're not letting others speak. I'm not you need shouting. to give time to I'm others. I'm not shouting. You I have no have concern patience. talking you. You should have patience. You should have patience. You have no valid point to talk. You're just ranting this and that. The fact is that your, on, you your manifesto is silent about the reservations. Your manifesto is silent about the reservations. Leave apart the reservations to the minorities. Can you commit on this channel your stand on reservations for Dalits, BC and SC? Can you commit today for the fact that you have not come out with any sort of a white paper on reservations? 
Is it also a fact on 30th April your this Prime Minister This is Minister not a debate on manifesto, but Dalit still if you want to hear, the BJP is committed to he work for the weaker the sections of India. Oh, we just, don't just want listen, to segregate anybody listen, in Dalits listen. and Muslims. You, you have, you Modi have ji no wants moral to work right for the weaker sections of this entire nation. Why children. do you want to go and, in for cheap and divisive politics? Why can you address the Indians who are weak as weaker sections? Why do you want to prefer you have I can't you have understand no your point. And you have no claim. So you have taken the action of shouting Absolutely down other not. speakers on this channel. In fact, your, your leader has fact. two and moral grounds. You are, you are whole, your whole all idea is to shout down the other so that they don't come up with that in fact. And teaching Mr. us Indians... What, what, is your, what is your policy on Indians? reservations? Let you tell your, me your policy your, on reservations. Your party are you committed to all the reports? Are you committed I just to know. the Mandal Commission Indian report? Indian. Are you committed to Rishra report? You I, have not committed to any other report. This you is said utter desperation on your part. You know, I, I, I just for want one, 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 just a minute. Just, can I, can I, can I ask, your can I, can I make a point now? Abid Rasul, Mr. Rasul. I just wanted to point out. Mr. Rasul, just got up before you come in. Today, I, I, I'm Modi taking a straw poll. One minute, please. That Jawaharlal Nehru. Got up. Just a small point I want to make. If, you know, point, no, yeah. no. I just want to make a small point. How sorry is it today? How sorry a fact is it today that in the middle of a general election, we pull out Ambedkar and fight over him on who owns the Ambedkar legacy? I think Ambedkar would feel really sorry for this fact. That's point number one. All political parties say we will not do politics of caste, all of them do it. And the worst part, and I place this on record, is that yes, Ambedkar got the Bharat Ratna very late. I am saying it. Let people like it or not like it. Rajiv Gandhi got it in 1991. He was assassinated in 91. Indira Gandhi got it in no, 84. One second, Indira Gandhi it. got it in 84. Uh, uh, you know... Uh, uh, she was assassinated in 84. She got uh, the Bharat Ratna. Nehru got the Bharat Ratna. The fact is Ambedkar got the Bharat Ratna in 1990. He died in 1956. So he got it very late. But after that, should we now before an election fight over who gave him the Bharat Ratna? Is that a fair thing to do? Is it fair that today no, this I great man, we, no, no, we, we denigrate him his memory by saying, who gave him the Bharat Ratna, I gave him, you gave him, etc. I mean, for God's sake, I don't think this is appropriate before an election. There have to be some Lakshman Rekha's Asifa and Ra Mr. Rasul. That you have to, you even... Agreed. I think, I think nobody will appreciate it. Uh, we nobody have, will appreciate it. We have no, never we do said. not. We have never well, I think no, no. another we condemnable statement. No, 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 no. Mr. Modi said, Mr. Modi said, Mr. Modi said three members, Mr. Modi said, Mr. Modi said three members of the family received Bharat Ratna immediately after their deaths, but parliament did not have a portrait of Ambedkar till the NDA government put it there. Fine. It was in 1989 that Ambedkar's portrait was first unveiled in the central hall of parliament by VP Singh. He was prime minister then, it was not an NDA government. But nobody did Ambedkar a favor, did they? Kancha yeah? It was not an NDA government. Huh? It was not an NDA government. Not. No, no, it was no, no. it was a United no, no. Na National this, this, Front this government. Fundamental fact. But did you do Ambedkar a favor? This, the fundamental fact is. No, uh, Aruna, you know the fundamental fact is that if BJP and its prime ministerial candidate tries to own Ambedkar through the means of Bharat Ratna, that. He got Bharat Ratna when we were supporting that government. Does he know we are not doing that, that Ambedkar, when he took to Buddhism, he said, no Dalit, no Buddhist should worship Rama Krishna. And these are the people who do politics in the name of Rama Krishna. And these are the people who try to systematically butcher Asifa people is in responding. the name of Asifa is responding. Krishna. And Asifa yes, Ji, yes. Asifa what, Ji does what, not really I, I seem have to just realize one small answer. that if tomorrow I just need one says, small answer from Narendra you. Modi who said, just a minute, just a minute, Asifa Ji, Narendra Modi who said, talking about Muslims, Ham Panch Amara Pachis, that was his slogan in 2002. Uh, if you take Prophet Muhammad I, I, near to him, 
You still don't want to come out of that What? mentality. Yes. Don't want to let us move on. What are you talking? And are you saying that? 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 Come on, give, are give me an answer. Are you saying that? 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 should be there only for 10 years in this country what do you have to say on that no, do you agree with Ambedkar ji today there. or you defy him no 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 so long no, the give me an answer that the nation okay one answer. second you can't what's what's a, what's a, what's a, what's a, i'm taking a I'm break what's it what, what the charge is the bjp has become pro ambedkar now i'm taking a short break the charge is the bjp has become pro ambedkar now i have some questions for the samajwadi party as well we were always one second has the bjp suddenly become pro ambedkar i'm back in a few minutes got up and ajay bose i'm going to come to you abid rasul you'll have your turn on the other side